Kevin Svansky talked about um, Elijah Moore's role in this offense as kind of that second option um, to Amari Cooper. Our past game, we want to lean on, like you mentioned, Amari, Dave, Elijah. Uh, I think those things come in bunches. Uh, he, he's doing a great job. He's doing what he's asked to do. I think he's uh, a threat with the ball in his hands. So those are all things that will continue to grow over the course of the season. Trevor, is it a factor of they've started P.J. Walker for a few games, Deshaun Watson at less than 100% for a couple of games, DTR? It, there hasn't been a flow with really any of the receivers other than Amari Cooper. Yeah, it's kind of strange because you bring in Elijah Moore to be that kind of presence no matter who the quarterback is, right? When you think about his success with the New York Jets, it was – when he was more of a quick hit kind of middle of the field wide receiver where not that he wasn't used deep and in, in a lot of deep targets. I mean, there's certainly instances where he was that, but he was that kind of security blanket over the middle type of wide receiver. And you would think that amongst a quarterback carousel, he would actually be the player who I don't want to say, say shine the most over Cooper because Cooper's going to always be the wide receiver one, but I would have thought his production would be better. And I haven't watched every single snap of him this year, but when he was playing really well in New York, I felt like it was it was an over the middle type of target. You know, whether it was curl routes, whether it was um, whether it was drag routes that didn't have a lot of depth to him, whether it was just him finding a soft spot in the zone, what like whatever it was, it was something between the hash marks where a quarterback could say, "All right, I got a primary read here. Okay, that's covered really well. Where's Elijah?" And, and I thought that that was going to be the role that he had for Cleveland. And maybe that is what they are designing for him. It's just not kind of manifesting into a lot of production right now. But to me, that's when he was most successful in New York. And, and I think that that is, uh, is how you're going to get the most success out of him in Cleveland as well.